The Himba tribe are indigenous people with an estimated population of about 50,000, living in northern Namibia in the Kanana region, and on the other side of the Kanana River is southern Angola. Most of their cultures have been upheld, despite Western influence, and agitation among these is the offering of women by their husbands to male guests to spend the night with while the husband sleeps outside in a case where there's no extra room trust me. You'll want to watch this video to the very end. Before we continue with this video kindly subscribe to our channel if you are new, and push on notification bell to get notified. Each time we drop a video stay tuned. The Avamba are predominantly livestock farmers who build fat steel sheep and goats, but count their wealth in the number of their cattle they also grow, and farm rain-fed crops, such as maize and millet's livestock, are the major source of, major source of milk and meat for the over Himba, but the Himba men and women are accustomed to wearing traditional clothing that befits their living environment in the Kanana region and the hot semi-arid climate of the area in most occasions. These clothings consist simply of scat-like clothing made from calf skins and sheep skin, or increasingly from more modern textiles and occasionally standards for footwear. The Wahimba are a polygamous people where several Himba girls are married off to male partners selected by their fathers once they attend puberty. Most of their cultures have been upheld despite Western influence and agitation among these, is the man comes first tradition. The woman has little or no opinion. In the decision making submission to her husband's demands come first, it is customary for the woman to engage in daily activities of milking cows, taking care of the, care of the children, while the men go hunting, sometimes living for long periods of time in the Himba tradition. When a visitor comes knocking a man shows his approval and pleasure of seeing his guest by giving him the Yukuge Pizza Yumukazendu treatment, which is that the wife is giving to his guests to spend the night with while the husband sleeps in another room in a case where there's no available room a husband will sleep outside. This apparently reduces jealousy and fosters relationships. Another tradition that has stood the test of time is the bathing is forbidding rule rather than take their butts. The women take a smoke bath and apply aromatic raisins on their skin. They are also guided by the belief that the color red signifies earth and blood. The red skin is one of the things that makes them extremely unique. The red oak gray cream that the Himba are famous for is made by pounding the ochre stone into small pieces. After that the fragrance are mixed with butter, slightly heated using smoke and applied on the skin and its function is to protect their skin from the harsh desert sun and insect bites. The Himba people are very interesting, and welcoming a moment with them will surely be one too. Remember thanks for watching up to this very minute kindly subscribe to Africa Scoop for more of such videos. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and feel free to leave us a comment in the comment section below. Oh.